Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. Hi everyone. Um, in this lecture, I will uh, uh, discuss with you on the different pharmaceutical preparation and the, the, uh, that can be classified as uh, liquid preparations. And uh, I will briefly explain to you what are the definition of liquid preparations in pharmaceuticals. And also, we will discuss specifically on the internal liquid preparations. Okay, liquid preparations can be broadly classified into three types, uh, solutions, suspensions and emulsions. Um, they are all three are in the form of liquid, okay, as the name imp uh, implies, uh, liquid preparation. But the texture uh, or the physical appearance of, the, of these products are different. Okay, solutions means that everything in the preparation is solubilized or is soluble in the carrier. So if the carrier is water, so all the drug or um, coloring agent or um, uh, other powders that are added into the preparation should be fully solubilized in the water. So uh, solutions can be uh, divided into different types. Uh, that it could be solutions okay, with water as the carrier or, or it can be elixir. Uh, with um, maybe alcohol as the carrier, okay, and it could uh, it could also be uh, linctus, or it can also be syrups. So there are different types of solutions, but all this has a clear preparation. Clear, I, uh, I, uh, what I mean by clear is that um, everything is solubilized in the preparation. The second type is suspension. Um, so a, suspe a suspension, as the name implies, it has some particles that are suspended in the product. So it means that the particles are not solubilized in the carrier, but uh, the particles are uh, uniformly distributed in the preparation. If we leave the product on our table uh, or in the fridge after some time, the powder can sediment to the bottom of the bottle. Okay, But a good uh, suspension formulation will ensure that the sedimented powder will be easily uh, redispersed uh, when we shake the bottle when the patient need to take the medication so to uh, to ensure such um, such um, a condition are met um, a formulation of suspension will usually add um, a suspending agent that will help to ensure uh, redistribution of uh, the drug powder is can be easily achieved. Uh, the third type is emulsion. So the emulsion is actually a mixture between oil and water. Okay, we will have a separate uh, lecture on emulsion. Okay, uh, and usually emulsion are white in color. Okay, uh, because um, uh, this uh, product is actually um, uh, like uh, the oil uh, droplets are, are distributed in the water uh, as the carrier. <coughs> Okay, so uh, the smaller the oil droplets uh, will determine the uh, uh, the shape of the white color. Okay, so if the uh, oil droplets is very very finely distributed, okay, you can have um, um, a, uh, you, you can have an emulsion that is translucent. Okay, as compared to an opaque emulsion like in the picture but uh, the common uh, method that we use in the lab uh, will produce an opaque color emulsion okay because we don't really reduce the uh, the oil droplets into very fine droplets we uh, our aim is to um, to uh, to break the oil droplets into uh, into sufficiently uh, stable droplets that that will not um, uh, less with uh, the other oil, oil droplets available in the emulsion. Okay, so we, we will have a separate uh, lecture on emulsion later on.